you know, clearly very different performance from last week. Um, delighted with it. Um, it's been great having Argentina here for two weeks and, you know, clearly um, it was a big week for us. We had to respond. thought we did in a really ruthless manner, which I'm really delighted with. You know, a number of people who... Um, I know there's a lot of questions about putting the same group out again, but really believe in, in the direction we're going. It, it's um, and really delighted with the response today against a, a pretty enthusiastic Argentinian team. Um, that'll do me. I think it's on. Yeah, it's, um, you know, I think, well, I thought our tactical response, for example, if I look back, the first 50 odd minutes last week, the tactical response was really good too. And I thought we mixed things up well, and but we we lost a little bit of that that vision in our game in that last quarter last week. And so I think we've flagged that that's been a big work on for us to get the balance right through the game. Um, and I thought, you know, the read of it was was really good early, and we got reward for it. We um, we got reward for a lot of our ball carries and some of the runs that we were making. Um, the, the interpretation, the breakdown was very different from last week, and that gave us a lot of confidence to play a little bit more. And and that's and hence we saw the spectacle we saw. Um, I thought our defence was was really good. Um, and it certainly helped that we didn't have penalty advantages for them to go back with. So when we actually turned the ball over, we had opportunities to use it, um, counter a wee bit, and, and build pressure that way. Um, that sort of more ruthless, complete mindset um, that was pleasing. And from a, from an attack perspective, obviously mm -hmm. not, not ideal conditions for most of it. But what what pleased you about the attack tonight? Just the ambition, you know. I don't think um, we didn't let the the conditions uh, blind us to taking space when it was on, and we had the confidence to do it. You know, I thought we were, and it wasn't picture perfect early. What was it? You know, I think we threw a, a loose offload out wide, turned the ball over. There was one loose kick that gave them a great counter attack opportunity. So there's a few things that didn't weren't perfect, but well, I love that mindset when this team plays like that. Obviously. You Consistency has been a struggle for this team this year, but heading into what is a very important trophy to the All Blacks, the Bledis Low coming up, how significant is a result like this, and, and I suppose the manner in which you guys were able to, to bounce back tonight, how significant is that heading into the Bledis Low series? Well, it's it's significant in the in the rugby championship. Let's let's look at that first and foremost because. Um, you know this championship's important for us, and and we we put ourselves in a bit of a hole last week. So, you know we had to respond and we had to do what we did, and and to walk away with a bonus point and, and a big points differential in a tight competition. That at least it keeps us in the race. And so, you know we'll we'll uh, enjoy that and uh, wake up tomorrow and start worrying about the next one. But um, you know clearly. We've got two to go, and we're going to have to we're going to have to have two good performances to, to have a chance at this championship. Sam, the dressing room this, uh, right now compared to last week. I mean, you guys must be happy and to get a, a week off next week, but knowing you have some winning momentum going into all of these games. Yeah, I've only been in there for about a minute. To be fair, I've been signing <laughs> autographs, took my boots off, and, and popped up here. But um, you know, awesome to be able to interact with the crowd on a and the fans on a much more positive note um, post game. Um, and have so many of them come out and um, yeah, that, so that was awesome. That's why I think so many of the boys have spent so long out there. There's um, a little bit of an acknowledgement and a thank you for the support. And then um, yeah, when I got in there, there's a handful of Argentinians in there, a bit of jersey swapping going on and um, always sharing a beer as well. To you, both of you, to get a result like that on this field, given what's happened this year, I mean, how much does that mean? Yeah, look, I think um, we'd be pretty quick to put our hand up that we haven't been proud of the performances we've put out at home. Um, and, um, you know, we, we appreciate the support we receive, but it's, it's you can't beat um, 
putting on, you know, one in, in front of the crowd, and when you got fans of, in their hard earned, hard earned cash to um, come and support you. So um, it didn't matter where it was in the country. I think we we were pretty determined to put one on at home, um, and we've got only one more home game um, the rest of the year. So uh, yeah, it's it was it was pleasing, um, and just felt like a a good reward internally for the team that's been working extremely hard behind the scenes, so um, they're satisfying. Yeah, do you think, does it feel like a little bit of weight's lifted off in terms of the rugby championship <clears throat> and things like that? No. No, it's the life of a coach. Um, you know, we've, all we've done is put ourselves back into contention, haven't we? And um, so I think from a championship we've still got plenty to do and so we'll roll our sleeves up and get stuck into work. But I, I'm just—I I guess I'm just proud of the way that you know we've we, we've worked hard to get to get our game where we want it to be. It hasn't happened the speed we'd like it to get to, but it, we, we saw signs of that tonight. And there's no doubt that you know the team's felt a whole lot of different pressure. We've had massive support from our, our fans behind the scenes, and, and it's been amazing. Um, but I was just proud of the way the guys have hung in there, and, and again not. Not got tight under the pressure, but actually, like I said, I played with a bit of ambition. Particularly proud of this man next to me for his week, and you know he's been under the pump from various quarters. But I thought he might have uh, answered a few questions tonight too. Oh yeah, he just heard it. Yeah, just heard it. That's um, <laughs> that's nice. Cheers, Foss. Thanks, mate. Sam is. Personality on the field, he's communicating with the rest of the Masters of Scuba. Uh, did, you, did you notice a significant difference in the way the breakdown was being interpreted tonight? Yeah, and I thought it contributed to like the spectacle and then the, the free flying rugby. You know, even though the conditions were a lot worse than last week, um, it, it felt like the ball was in play a lot longer. There was times where, like last week, there's not too many periods of play where we were actually um, sucking in air. Um, we were working. Teams were working hard out there tonight because the, it was a little bit more free flowing, um, because the ball was able to be recycled a little bit quicker. And um, yep, no, it was it was clear and obvious. And um, I thought Nick did a outstanding job. Yeah, coach, do you, do you think that does it does it kind of worry you though that you've got such a big discrepancy between last week, this week, and what going to happen the week after? Look, we're just oh, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. But what I will say is that we've we we worked hard at what we can control, and so we had to do some things better this week, and I think we did. And and we've also learnt the last fortnight that we've just got to make sure that we we adapt really really quickly to different interpretations, and and that's probably our challenge, Jamie, to make sure that if uh, if the breakdown's been reffed a different way, then we've got to probably eliminate some breakdowns and play slightly different. Ian yeah, Sam Simon debuted here just over a year ago now. He's come back as the you know, top hooker and had another strong game tonight ever since he developed from mm-hmm. that. Just you talk about what he's adding to your front row. Oh, look, he's just a, he, he's, he's still a younger man who um, loves playing the game. He he doesn't get too complicated. I think he's really improving his scrummaging, which was probably a little bit, ironically, a little bit of his weakness coming into this international season. So that's taken some really good work from Fiki to get him to that point um, but I, I just love like games like today he just wants the ball doesn't he and he's just got an enthusiasm to play and it's just he's like a kid in the backyard he just wants to get his hands on the ball and run at things and um, does it pretty well Ian what went into um, Rico being able to I guess <coughs> stamp his mark on the game the way he did I think he, he was involved in at least your first three tries maybe even the first four you know he, he was involved in a lot of what yeah. he did well what went into that yeah, I thought it was probably one of his best test matches I've seen him play for a long time. Um, well, it's probably one of his best at centre. Um, it, it's just time in the saddle, you know, and it's, um, and, you know, this is not an I told you so, but we, we've been putting a similar combination out for a reason, and it's, and it, um, we, 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 we're pretty determined to grow some athletes that we've got a bit of faith in, and been a little bit of pain in that. <laughs> but um, what we've got out of him is, I think he's confident. He's feeling he's feeling secure in his environment, and he's willing to 
I think he's rolling his sleeves up in the in the in the more of the darker arts of the breakdown and the ball carry than perhaps what we've seen, and I think that's probably given him the confidence to get more and more involved. Can the conditions in the dictate um, or help um, with the way you want it to vary the attack? No, we'll never know. I mean, seriously, we'll never know, will we? I mean, to be fair. Um, the game I thought we played in the first half was exactly the game that we're probably prepared to play. It'd be fair. Like I don't think the rain changed too much with that. So, um, so some of our options we were taking actually we we took them anyway. So, um, so no. Long answer, but got there. Sorry, that's right. Just on the on the attack and the shifts you made in the variety of that kicking game, short and long. Is that a blueprint, or is it more specific to the way that the Pumas defend? Definitely the way the Pumas defend. Um, they they defend very wide and very zonal, with pretty decent spacings in between them. Um, so their wings are wider than most international teams, and then their two bunkers are generally quite deep. So um, they give you opportunity, but you've got to be accurate with it. And so. It would be nice if everyone defended like that, then we could put out the same game plan, but it probably won't next week. Sam, what's it like playing with Ali Savia? I mean, you just never, you know, you always play at such a high level and such an intensity. Is it, is it fun to be out there with him, playing like this? Yeah, sure is, mate. Um, yeah, there's, there's players that you just love going out there to battle with, and you know they're, um, yeah, they'll, they'll front up when you need them, and um, he's certainly one of those. and. Um, yeah, just really enjoying working with him. Um, he's taking more and more of a leadership role in this team all the time as well, which is awesome. And uh, uh, he's a beast. I think he's quite enjoying that last 15 minutes calling the shots, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's doing a good job. He was pretty good in the first 65 minutes yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, how pleased you look from those senior players by the bench? Yep. Um, oh, it was a good bench. And it was a very hungry bench, you know, with a couple of the boys being out for a little while and um, with injuries. So, you know, re really pleased with it. And it's it's easy to lose shape, isn't it, in, in the last part of a game when you when you change. But in some ways, the 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 yellow card. Um, you'll notice we made a number of subs in that little period because we just felt like we just wanted to keep the energy high. So we made probably more subs in that period. But well, I think it really worked this week because it actually got the energy up and we, we sort of compensated for being 14 but, but our tempo didn't drop so a lot of that's due to the the likes of uh, Colsey and, and those front rowers and the um, and, and Brody and Bodie in particular. Obviously a lot of positives coming out of the game, was there anything that maybe just sort of, sort of niggled you a little bit watching it that you'd still like to see it more of an improvement on going? Yep. Yep, I think um, I won't go too deep into it, but I, I thought the I still think some of our driving play we can get better at, and um, and they went and well they went to one place and their line out drive all the time with one tactic, and they sort of seem to get reward for that through the game. So you know we need to look at how we didn't adapt that well in that space, but um, overall, no, pretty pleased. Sam, was there any issue with? Pablo, after the game he appeared to, I don't know, didn't want to shake Colsey's hands in the handshake. Like, was he good? Didn't shake Colsey's hand? Yeah. Wouldn't be the first player. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, to be honest, that's the first I've heard of it, yeah. I'm not sure. It was just the kind of brush off you get. Yeah. Everyone loves Colsey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.